how to refurb a house from start to finish. So first things first, you've got the keys and it's the strip out. Removal of the kitchens, the bathrooms, the carpets, whatever's in that house, getting it back to a bare shell so you can move forward. Two ways you can do this. You can strip it out yourselves and get the skips or you can get a company in who will do it all for you. Next is getting a structural engineer into the property to calculate what steels you need if you're having any walls removed. Also, if you're removing any chimney breasts, you need drawings for it, and that's what the structural engineer is for. Now, it's first fix electrical, first fix carpentry, and first fix plumbing. First fix carpentry, a lot of you might be surprised, but if you're fitting new door frames here, you put them in before the plastering is done so the plastering can be brought up to them. New windows will be fitted at this stage, if applicable, if you are putting them in, but never fit the new front door because while materials are being brought in and out, it will get damaged, so leave this till the end of the project. Now it's time to plaster the whole house. And after the plastering is done, if the floors need self-leveling, this is the time that I actually do it once the plastering has been completed. Now the first bits of electrics and plumbing are done, it's time to toll the bathroom. And right now as well, you can also start fitting the kitchen. Some people like to have the flooring done in the kitchen before they fit the kitchen. I don't. I like to have the kitchen fitted and then the flooring done afterwards. Kitchen fitting, very simple guys. Units, sink, taps, getting everything in and ready for the next stage. Second fix electrics, second fix plumbing, all your light switches, all your light sockets, all your radiators will be on. And then we go into second fix carpentry, which is all your architrave and all your woodwork. Now we're ready for flooring. Tiles in the kitchen, which is what I like, laminated in my lounge or tiles in my hallway. This is the stage where all of this is fitted, but I like to put my skirting board on after my flooring's been done. I like my laminated fitted first in the rooms that I want it, and then all the skirting board afterwards for a better finish. That's in my opinion. Now we're on to the decorating stage. Most builders would have done a mist coat before this to see if there's any imperfections in the plaster. When it comes to the decorating stage, we like satting on our wood and mat on our walls. We believe that this gives a better finish. Now the decorating is finished, it's time to lay your carpets in the rooms that you want carpets. Now guys, we do this at this stage because we don't want any damages incurred on our carpets that we have laid. So if you do it before the painting, there's a chance that you will have a bill for cleaning. At this stage, the build should be complete inside and the contractor should be handing you the keys back for snagging. What a job that is. That's a job in itself. You have to come in, make sure everything is working correctly and everything is finished to the standard that you expect or the level that you set for yourself. Now, snagging. Make sure the taps are working. Make sure your light sockets are working. Make sure all your plug sockets are working. Make sure your doors open and close. Make sure your windows open and close. Make sure your kitchen cupboards open and close. Make sure every single thing in that house is exactly as you want it, whether you're flipping or you're renting it out or you're moving into it. So this is the stage where you can pick up on all the faults that need correcting before you make that final payment to your contractor. Now it's time for the externals and this is the stage where you get your house rendered if you want it. Your fascia and guttering can be replaced and your landscaping. We leave all of these till the last part of the project because I don't want nobody from out here going in there and I can seal the house up, lock it, walk away and have all my external stuff done. So there you have it guys, a complete breakdown, how to renovate a house from start to finish with some tips thrown in from me who's been doing this for a very long time. I'll see you next week with another video.